on August the 8th and it directly connects to what I'm going to talk about today which is my health experience and the way that I have dealt with chronic illness so going back to the beginning in the beginning <laughs> um, I was born a premature baby I was born at six months as opposed to nine months so when I was born I didn't have any veins in my body um, they were very small little veins because I wasn't fully developed like a full baby at nine months. My eyes were closed. So, because the veins were not developed yet, so my eyes were like this. And they had to go in there and cut open to see, you know, to help me see. And then my eyes, well, I was legally blind. And thankfully, I was treated by a doctor who said that I would be able to see and he op operated on my eyes and actually have a scar in the back of my eyes and now I can actually see your beautiful faces and I am so grateful for that. I am so grateful to be able to see everything around me and um, growing up was very, it was very difficult. It was a hard experience because I had about 10 to 11 doctors for everything wrong in my body from my heart to my mental health, right? Because I grew up with ADHD and um and things like that uh i also you know from my kidneys i there was some kidney dysfunction a bit i had some kidney issues and from my feet you know everything everything was wrong with me <laughs> growing up and that made my experience pretty difficult at school because i didn't really enjoy my um my time in school growing up as a kid because i had a lot of absences and that made it very difficult um to kind of connect with others and I would was bullied a lot and things like that because you know I'm just very different <laughs> and um, so that growing up I ended up gaining a lot of weight in third grade because well you know my parents they loved me so much and they were like well you know she's so skinny and she's so tiny well let's feed her you know junk food and like she's saying yes so let's kind of fatten her up you know a bit in a way to just I guess try and help me be stronger you know because my immune system being born at such a small age at such a small time or age you know at six months it really made me susceptible to things so that ended up happening when i was 13 i was diagnosed with chronic severe gastritis which is inflammation of the lining because i ate so much um hot sauce and salsa i used to eat the very hot um chips and i used to Put salsa all over it and eat that and then slurp up the salsa so it really messed up my stomach it basically boiled my stomach from the inside out and it completely destroyed my um my gallbladder you know the junk food that i would eat the fried food it basically messed up my gallbladder and for about six months i completely changed my diet i went from 125 pounds to 96 pounds in about a month because I wasn't eating anything and even drinking water and eating was very very painful so it was something that was very difficult and then I thought that after I would get my gallbladder taken out that I would be able to eat again but that wasn't the case so for for nine years I had a very very strict diet where I could not eat any junk food I could not eat anything that would make my stomach irritate my stomach and there were moments where i couldn't even eat half of a plate because the fact that i was eating so little i wasn't eating what i eating what i could eat like junk food and stuff so i wasn't gaining weight and then i ended up having a lot of difficulty with my appetite and with my stomach because everything even water would just hurt my stomach so then that was about nine years so in the summer of 2021 i mean 2021 sorry in the summer of 2019 when i was 21 i ended up so i have depression and anxiety 
and dep the, my depression and my anxiety, what it does is that it cuts my appetite and I get so nervous that I can't eat. My throat kind of just closes up and I, I can't eat. So that combination with the being sick, it just created this very intense um, diet and just control over my diet, which I'm still dealing with now. And um, I'm still trying to figure that out. And now I ended up drinking anxiety medication. I started drinking anxiety medication in the February of 2019. So in the summer of 2019, I don't know what happened. I just started to get so hungry like just unbelievably hungry i just wanted to eat everything i was eating more than what i usually ate and i gained a lot of weight and then in the summer of 2020 right when the pandemic started which was in february i just ended up gaining a lot of weight and it was very different for me for me because i had never gained so much weight in comparison to when i was in third grade like it was little compared to how much I had gained so it was very different for me learning how to love myself and accept that my body was changing and I was happy though I was so happy that I was actually eating fried food like I love fries I love cheesecake I was just eating things that I had not eaten for nine months for nine years so then I ended up gaining a lot of resilience and a lot of strength and I just want to let my chronic w illness warriors know that they're not alone that you will get better and that things do take time and they do you know fighting chronic illness is it's a constant struggle like even now i still struggle with my eating i struggle with the repercussions of what being sick and having such a strong diet did to me what it did to my emotional health what it did to my mental health in terms of how i view myself and equating thinness with beauty but in reality I was so thin that my skin was so pale and I was so unhappy I was eating but I wasn't happy and now hopefully I can post up some pictures now there's I have fat in my cheeks you know um I have my color my skin color is more vibrant my eyes are more lively because I have energy to live my life and I just want to let y'all know that you will get better. And I'm so grateful for the life, another year of life that God has given me to be able to be there for you guys and to let you guys know that you guys are not alone and that I'm here and that I've been through it and that there's, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And I also want to encourage you guys to take an overall holistic approach to your life because everything in our health is connected you know our emotional health our physical health is they're all connected and they all have a purpose for in our lives so i really hope that through this journey with me we can both kind of figure out a way to make things better for ourselves you know we will never reach perfection because it doesn't exist you know only god is perfect in my eyes and um to know that there's a balance and that we can find it and um yeah this is it for today i'm also going to be talking about self-esteem in my next video and relationships and how that's affected um how they have affected each other so please like and comment on your experiences with your own health and how you feel you know about what you've been through even if you've only been sick for a little bit of time or if you've been dealing with chronic illness now or if you've lost someone to chronic illness please um, share your story with me through the comments or through a private message if you like um, and click on that notification bell and share with your friends so see you guys next time bye